What's up, everybody? It's your host with the most. We're doing puns now, boys. It's your boy, Han. Welcome to our first episode of Geeking Out Loud with the boys. My co-host, All You Wop. Say hi hi to the people. What's up, guys? How you doing? How about you, Robbie? Also known as what? What what do you want to be called? Fapa Tower or Robbie? What you want? Nah, you can do Robbie. We're doing Robbie? All right. We're doing Robbie. What up, everyone? How you doing today, guys? Mm-hmm. Doing good, good, you know. All right, you get any Chipotle today, Austin? Actually, I didn't, dude. I was a little disappointed. I, well, I spent. I got all your guys' Christmas gifts uh, yesterday, so I spent a hefty amount, dude, like four hundred bucks on everybody combined. And I got myself some shit, but I mean, still, like, uh, I dropped my entire paycheck pretty quick. I feel you. I, I got paid yesterday. I'm already broke. But all right, let's get into it. So let's talk about game of the year, the game awards, 2018. Did you guys watch it at all? Or I watched a little bit of it. I was working the smash release. So we had like all the downtime, like between what? Cause it started at eight 30. Like the pre-show started at eight 30 before people actually started going on. So we were doing pre ring six to midnight. Right. But we weren't busy because it was like one or two people would come in. So we literally sat there and watched it for the three, three, three and a half hours. It was on. So I literally watched everything live. What about you, Rappers? Did you watch any of it? I did not get a chance to watch it, but I did get to see some highlights um, after the fact. I was stuck at work all day, so. Um. Uh, I didn't watch it. I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't busy. I just didn't watch it. But <laughs> I did watch the Mortal Kombat 11 trailer. But we'll talk about that another day. Um. All right. So, game of the year, God of War one. How you guys feel about that? I know I've been I just got God of War so yeah I mean I have I'm what I think me and you are in like the same spot you're probably a little farther than me now no I'm like, still behind you oh so I mean what we're like two three hours in the game mm-hmm. so I mean from my personal experience I can see why it won but I also haven't played it to the extent where I can see why it actually won like oh this is this good but I mean I'm definitely a fan of like how it's set up so far is yeah. like three hours like, into the game like it makes me want to play it it's just like when somebody else gets on i'm not gonna stop i'm gonna like that's a game that i want to listen to like the audio on like i don't want to just read subtitles like i want to hear yeah like the, the talk like the storyline like i don't want to just fucking sit there and let it just be there the game not hear a damn thing the game is visually beautiful too and like 100 oh, I, I like the fighting system so far and i already know you unlock more weapons so it's like making me even more like i like i want to play it more but literally as soon as somebody hops on like playstation i'm just like dude he has right yeah. now i want to play call of duty <laughs> i feel that what do you think i don't know i was a little kind of hurt so basically you know like the runners up were like you know marvel spider-man um and oh, red yeah. dead redemption 2 and rockstar had that in the making for six years since the last gta 5 and i just Man, I feel like Red Dead Redemption 2 had it in the bag. Like, I love, I love uh, God of Wars, you know, the detail, the storyline, even the, the, um, the fighting, like the abilities and the, or the capabilities of how you fight those enemies. But man, Red Dead Redemption 2, I personally think should have won. I don't think, I I don't think it should have due to the fact that, uh, no, I'm just saying it because you gotta look at it like this. That game came out really late. It came out fourth quarter. Compared That's true. to That's true. God of yeah. War. I felt like more people would have had more time between I feel like it would have been between Spider Man, which I didn't get a chance to play, but it looked Oh amazing. dude. Spider Man, I like you said, what? I'm a I'm a person that loves to play games with you guys. Like I love to play games with my friends, but I think when I got Spider Man You didn't talk to like, us for like I, two I, weeks. I, th- I think I just sat in the party and just muted myself and had you guys super quiet and I just I mean I I, I platinum trophied the game in ten days. Like wow. Yeah, it was a quick game. I mean it was like 30, 40 hours of gameplay. But like I spent like almost 50, 60 hours on it because just like the way that you sw- like the web sling throughout the city, like I don't know. It's literally, I get like it kind of is like, oh, we just bash squares, the fighting mechanic. But like, there's other stuff to do besides just fight enemies. Like, you can literally climb, like, you can climb Avengers Tower. Like, the oh, hell? That's like, sweet. like, I literally spent, and like, there's little like references to like previous like Spider Man movies or like Marvel movies. Like, 
the, the Wakandan embassy is like in the game, like the house from Doctor Strange is in the game and like you'll swing past it because like you have to take photos in the game of like certain locations. And like, as you're taking a picture of the house, it's like, oh, this place looks a little strange. And like, mm -hmm. you just get these little like quick references that I just, I don't know. I personally, like from the games I've played, I thought that was going to be the one to win it. But I also yeah. see why because God of War's following is just so big and so, I mean, same with Red Dead, but like. Yeah, I but like I, I, like I said, like, I you gotta look at like this. I'm pretty sure God of War sold what? Almost what, most. Almost. Most I think, copies. well, I know, yeah, I think, well, I think the one thing with, um, what, Spider-Man, well, it's, it's a game on its own, though, like. Spider-Man sold, actually, no, Spider-Man, they sold, Spider-Man broke two a record. Mil. They sold two mil at launch, didn't they, or three days or something like that? Yeah, I, I mean, think the, I think God the reason Spider-Man's, God of like, War sold 3.1 <laughs> million copies in three days, so, I mean, yeah, wow. yeah, I was about to say, it sold, like, oh stupid amount in three days i think the only reason spider-man sold uh, a crap ton is because everyone who was like veteran players from like back when it was on playstation 2, Two? yeah and, back then. yeah like that that's that's the reason that that sold because everyone was like you know i've played this before this you know you can't you can't beat like the original games the right nostalgia. No, no. Yeah, yeah but i mean like i just looked it up and it says insomniac games uh, Title sold 3.3 million copies in the first three days, so it outsold God of War in the first three days. <sighs> That's is insane. what is that what is we're crazy. seeing. But I mean, they broke the God of War record. But I also, but I just believe, like, like I said, the following behind God of War, like the storyline leading up in the previous games, just are yeah. setting it. They're setting it up to win an award. Better. Yeah, better. And better. like. And I just, I don't know, I feel like, I don't know, personally, like, playing Spider-Man, the story is phenomenal. Just like, and I've heard it from multiple people, they weren't a big fan of just the voice actor behind the guy that voices Spider-Man. I heard that, and it got, like, kind of repetitive. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's one of it those games 50 -50. that... It was 50-50. It was like, it was like, it was repetitive, but since you enjoyed the story for the most part, you didn't really care about the repetitiveness and, like, how much there was to do. That's what yeah. I hear, though. I just, yeah, I mean, like, granted, the like, you have to collect backpacks. You have to go turn on these towers for, like, to see the map and stuff. And mm. I don't know. Like, and like I said, like, swinging around the city, I spent 10, 20 hours on just alone. Like, that's what I did. And while I'm doing that, I'm just going to get backpacks that just happen to be on the way. Like, I'm just goofing around on the game. And, like, their DLC comes out. Their third DLC is coming out next Friday, like. And I haven't played the first two strictly because, like, each one's, like, they said it's five to seven hours of gameplay, depending, like, if you play right through it. I'm going to get, like, a whole new game by just waiting till Friday to start playing all the DLC again. Yeah, so, that's understandable. All right. I don't well, know. All right, I don't know. Good. Did you feel like, I mean, but what about, like, Celeste being in that? Like, an indie game had a chance to win game of the year. Like uh, I personally didn't. Uh, I I don't know. I didn't know, know about anything. Yeah, I, saying, yeah. I didn't even hear about you it. I didn't really? know about it. Yeah, I'm no, I don't know anything about it. It's that. on PlayStation and Switch. I mean, I have never played it personally. Like like I said, I mean, I work at GameStop, so you know everybody there plays every freaking game possible, right? Because <laughs> we get to check them all out. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it's its release date came out in. It came out like early early 2018. Like I'm saying, it came out in like January or February, right? Yeah, but like it came from an indie developer. Like, I don't even know how to like explain it. It's like mountain climbing, kind of like it's kind of like a pixelated game. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just I think it looks like I've heard from multiple people that it's one of those games that you should play, even if it's not your style, just because of how well like it was just properly made for being an indie game. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. <laughs> I just think it's crazy how an indie game even had a chance against like oh yeah it got in top six like like what are you supposed to do oh it's like an eight it's it looks like super meat boy yeah oh wait a minute i have seen this trailer before okay yeah yeah, yeah it's a it's a lot of places like i was very surprised like it's on the playstation store i don't know i mean 
Like, I didn't expect... When I heard Odyssey was even in the running for Game of the Year, I didn't even expect it to win. And same with Monster Hunter World. Like, I played Monster Hunter World. I just felt like I had too many bugs to even win. I heard, though... I mean, personally, I enjoyed Monster Hunter the beta when I played it. I've been just oh, trying to get yeah. you guys on. Like, I just wanted all you guys to get on board to grab it. And everybody was like, no. Well, everybody... It's like 50-50 between us, but yeah, we haven't grabbed it, but yeah, so let's, yeah. let's actually check out best ongoing game. Destiny 2 Forsaken was in the running. How do you guys feel about that? Uh, like, I mean, you've heard me say multiple times, I'm not a big fan of Destiny. Like, I mean, I played the first one through and my, my biggest problem was it was like, I beat the first one like before any DLC came out and then there was just nothing for so many months. And like, by the time I got back to it, like it, it was wasn't just, worth it. Yeah, it, it was just sucked. so different. Like the game was just completely different. So I just fell straight off the destiny train. Like I felt, I felt hard. Like, and I'm not even going to lie. Like I like, I like the idea. It's just, I'm not, it's you're not that type of, yeah. 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 I feel you. Cause I played, I played both of them. I hated destiny one. I actually stopped buying the DLCs. So I, d I didn't play, I didn't even finish the rest of the game cause how much I hated it. And then Jake was like, if you buy D2, I'll buy all your DLC. So that was our deal. I'm like, I've been cool with it. Forsaken redeemed it. Forsaken That's definitely I've heard. redeemed it. I've heard a it. lot of good things about Forsaken. But then, like, this new DLC is just trash right now. So it's like they took a huge step back. I think they just did it, like, they get some money in their pockets because of how much they sold it for. Because it was worth the money you spent on, like, Forsaken. But after that, nah, man. Like, it's been tragic. <laughs> yeah, what do you think, Robbie? Uh, I personally think Destiny would have, like... I I know Fortnite's a great game and everything. Like, like I'm playing it right now and stuff. But like, <laughs> Destiny's been around for a while, and like, just the just the sheer like campaign mode of that is like what I feel like should have been the winner. Like the customization um, that you get with each character and all that, and just the nah, but like that's the thing though. They they like they gutted it. They actually gutted a lot of what was that's in what the I've original heard. game. Yeah, because like in the original one, you had a like lot of skill trees. Even on your guns, you had multiple skill trees on just weapons, and that was yeah. that's why I loved it. Because like my favorite gun in one was the universal remote, and mm. unlocking it made me feel so good. Like uh, like getting the whole skill tree up, and in this game, they just give you everything other than well, like, I, the actual weapons I've you heard, want. I've heard about that actually, but I've heard like. The one thing they're doing in Forsaken and through their DLC is they're bringing a lot of like fan favorites back into the game from D1 and stuff. So, yeah, but it's like like keeping you on a grind anyways because you want those original weapons. You know what I mean? I mean, personally, I don't want a bunch of the original weapons back in because it's just like, all right, you guys are just copying and pasting from D1. Like, let's see what your creativeness like they like in the new DLC, they release a couple actually like interesting weapons, and in uh, Forsaken, they've released a lot of really good, like good, mostly exotic weapons. Is that like the bow that Noah's been using and talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, because I got the Wishinger with him. We actually both got oh. that quest done together, and that thing's like really fun to use in PvP. And like now, it's like I don't really want like another like gun really unless it's the universal remote remote I of feel course that. I feel like that. that that's just because that's personally my favorite weapon and i mean if i could get it I'll, i ain't gonna complain i'm with it but you know I mean, that's how yeah. it is what do you think about the other runners up for the best multi or the best ongoing game with being no man's sky overwatch and tom clancy's rainbow six seed yeah rob you go first say that one more time so the runner, the other contenders for that game of the oh, yeah. ongoing game were going to be No Man's Sky, Overwatch, and Rainbow Six Siege. Yeah, so like No Man's Sky, I can understand that one because, uh, you know, they had that huge uh, fluke with, you know, their prom promise this whole uh, infinite yeah, universe. That, and yeah, but they brought that, they multiplayered that and that game's sales went, like their trade-in value went from like, I think the, the game literally at GameStop like was selling pre-owned for like eight dollars, and now it's selling for like thirty-five pre-owned. Wow! <laughs> so I mean, like, it hopped up when that multiplayer came out. So yeah. I mean, like, I don't know. I felt like that game redeemed itself. It took a year or two, right? Like a year or two. Yeah, but, definitely. I don't know. What do you yeah, think about Overwatch? Weird. Overwatch has um, kind of been dying. I don't know, yeah. dude. They just what? But it. I don't know. Like I just returned it. Granted, because on console it's like on console it's dead though. In most of us, oh like, yeah, 
I mean, yeah, I own a PC, but like I'm more of I'm a console gamer. Like I play on console. Like my things I play on PC are WoW and like maybe Fortnite once in a while. Like I maybe Lee if I ever get on it. But like I don't know. I just feel like Overwatch has that one specific community and it's never gonna die out. Like oh. as long as they just keep adding one character a year, that that game will never die. No, oh yeah, that. with like the hamster and stuff. Yeah. Well, that's like, the thing though. I feel like they need to start adding more because. It's starting to get dry. Well, oh, I 100% agree. I mean, like, when they did the... What, the last time I played is when they had Junker Town or something like that? I think uh, that was yeah. the last time yep, I played yep. it. I played I mean, it like, earlier, and I had the most toxic team ever. Like, I mean, my that's team... that's how it is, though. No, like, back then, it wasn't as toxic. Like, people actually cared. Like, we lost one round, and everybody on my team decided to go DPS. I was like, what? Like, why? Like, what is this? And it just made me, like, not want to, like, I literally was like, screw this. I just straight up, I was like, I'm not even going to, like, keep playing this. I'm just going to hop off before I get mad and start breaking stuff, because it was just annoying. Like, I literally did not want to play a single game after that. Oh, no, I agree. I mean, that's just one of those things, and I mean... The next game's what Siege. I like I said I did. I was so against buying that game for what Brendan eight months, and I finally got it when it was on sale for Black Friday, and I haven't even played it. Like no one plays it. I feel like that. I love too. Siege. I love Siege too. I well, just had a just, chance you to guys play were just it. playing it. Like yeah. <laughs> you guys were just on it on PC. It's but just I like a console. So I mean, and I, I feel like especially on console, it's one of those games. It has no aim assist. It's not like, and I mean, granted, like okay, it still can play it on console, but like. Playing a game on console with no aim assist is so hard. This like, go turn on your Call good. of Duty. No, but listen to me. Go go on Call of Duty and turn off your aim assist. It is a completely different game. Like, you will miss shots you've never missed in your entire life playing Call of Duty since you were 11 years old. But that's oh, the thing. Yeah. It's not Call of Duty. You don't miss a shot. But that's my thing is, like, that aim assist is such a like, important part to a console gamer. Like, there was the I, big I don't mind it. Fortnite on it. Well, that's so, the thing. I mean, I don't really mind it not having because I play on PC and on PlayStation 4 for uh, R6 and like so and like what Fortnite. Honestly, yeah. I don't really notice the difference. You just need to have the aim. If you don't have the aim, like that's on you. Like that just means you got to get better. Yeah, the I mean, and like I said, I haven't even played a game. Like, like I played against the bots, like in those operations or the starter things that you get stars on. Like I have, like I haven't even played it like a multiplayer match with anybody. You know what I mean? Yeah, honestly, like, if Fortnite didn't have, like, such a huge, like, it's honestly, I thought this game would have been dead by now. I even said that. Oh, I was like, this dude. game's going to be dead in a year. <laughs> August, they had, like, what? It they was, still like, have, like, they still million? have, like, 7 million or what? I think they're still making, like, close to a million, 2 million a day. Just on yeah. microtransactions, like. It must be nice. <laughs> so, I mean, obviously, that game's going to win best ongoing game. Like, there's no, there's no competition, like. No offense to any of the other games or categories or uh, games or like types of games. Battle Royale is the trend right now. And that game does it perfectly. You mm -hmm. listen to your community. Yeah, I mean, you fuck up once in a while. But like, you quickly fix your mistakes. Like, and that's what the people care about. And that's especially competitively wise. That's what people care about. They're going to stay on your yeah. game. All right. What about I mean, best game direction? Best game so, direction. Yep, okay, so the winner for that one is God of War, again. But I mean, I'm, like, I haven't beaten it yet, so Like I, I said, I, I'm, I'm four hours into the game, like, I don't know anything on that, and I can... Well, from what I've started, like, where the game started to four hours in, I can already see why it won. Like, I can oh, see yeah. the story already building. Um, I mean, did you guys play any of the other games? I mean, I know you said you played Red Dead, that was also in that. I skipped... Um, I haven't played an Assassin's Creed since, like, Brotherhood. <laughs> well, no, Best Game Direction didn't have Assassin's Creed. Oh, wait, Creed. Hold on. wait, my bad. It had, yeah. uh, it it had Detroit, Spider-Man, A Way Out. Yeah, I mean, so I played Detroit. A Way Out. I, haven't, I didn't play Detroit. I didn't even watch gameplay on the game, honestly. It's kind of like, I feel like it's similar to Bully. I don't, I don't Definitely. know if that's... I don't, a lot of people are, like, agree with that because, you know, but then again, like, you got, like, Bully 2 coming out soon. That everyone's excited for so it's like i can understand i guess why that lost because it wasn't bully well yeah and also one of the big things i feel like with it is um it's like one of those cinematic games like you just make a little you make one two choices here and there like they're kind of like quick timey things i feel like you know like you don't do much in that game like yeah but like the one thing with detroit 
is it can be played through like a hundred different ways. So even if you just replay the game, if you make one different decision in the beginning of the game, your entire ending is completely different. So I, I it just has feel replay like, value. Is honestly good replay value then? Yeah, and I if mean, you care about that type of stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely. Is I think that's important in a game because like you spend sixty bucks on it. Like you're not gonna like that's the thing. Like, yeah. Like God of War. Why would I spend sixty dollars on a game when I play through the story? It's done. But now all these games are doing the new game plus. You can replay the entire story with all your crap, but everything's a hundred times harder. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Mm. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Like I, I would, if I got to play most of the games, like if I actually like would have bought them, I probably would have better like insight on like this why. Like, I mean, yeah, I, I'm like, like I understand why God of War won from the four hours I've played. Because I understand, like, playing through the Spider-Man, since that was a contender on it, I just don't think where Spider-Man took the game. Like, it was just, I felt like in the beginning of the game, you knew where it was taking you. Like, you knew what was going to happen just from seeing, like, the gameplay trailers leading up to yeah. the game. You knew what that last Sinister Six member was going to be, or who it was going to be, and who you were going to fight already, like, once the game started. Like, yeah, there's you even- so many... You even got a feel of understanding of like how that um that you know that fighting aspect um with those people because you could see it like firsthand of like how that third person essentially like uh, i'm not gonna say it turns into a first person but it gets pretty damn close to you know showing you like exactly how you're gonna fight this big ass boss and oh yeah 100%. i just i love that yeah i mean Let's go to the next category, which is best oh, narrative. I was gonna say let's just skip that one and go to best action game. You want to go to best action? I was yeah, say, because I, was gonna, I wanted to hear. Well, because I, like. I just wanted to hear Robbie's uh, views on how Red Dead won. Because since he said he's played it. No, 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 no! I never said I played oh, it. I never oh, said I, I played, it. played it. No, I did not play Red Dead. Um, I've been binge watching essentially uh, Red Dead playthroughs and stuff like that because um i've i played the first one um okay. not the second one i i don't have a ps4 so i haven't been I, able to get my hands I, on that quite uh, yet you know what's funny robinson i have mm. a red dead redemption 2 copy in the plastic wrap that i'm holding right now oh yeah because <laughs> you have the you have probably the best girlfriend of all time and she bought you a fucking pro for your birthday the fuck is that Yo, it's because she loves me and I love her. It'd be like that, bro. Don't hate. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I mean we're not getting into my personal life right now. Yeah, I was like, uh, so are you going to hand me that copy so I can... Uh... You can borrow it, yeah, when you get your PlayStation. Heck yeah. I'm going to... Well, I was going to be by uh, um, High Six, but, you know, he ended up selling it to someone else the same day. And I was like, oh, I was like, no, I got to actually go out and buy one. Wait, so are we doing best action? Yeah, best action game because... I don't even know who the winner is. <laughs> I'm so actually best that action game. Best action winner game. was Dead oh, Cells. Dead Cells. What, All what, right. did, what's that about? It was Dead it, Cells is like uh so it's got what's that one game that it's everyone a platformer. Loves? It's a platformer. Yeah. It is. I'm gonna look yeah, you got it. it. Um so it's a platformer. And it was one of those things that hopped up on Twitch just like top five games for like a solid two and a half, three weeks. And then really? it just died off. Like it, yeah, it just really died mm-hmm. off. Um, the one thing that was really interesting about Dead Cells was it actually had like a streamer capability kind of thing where like you could pick a person in your chat, connect it, like it would connect to your chat somehow. And that one person would be like, his name would be on like a little bird behind you. And while you're fighting enemies, that person could heal you, like give you shield or something like that. Really? Like if they typed heal, it would heal you. Yo, yeah, that's, like, that's awesome. That's actually really cool. Like I saw a lot of like that going on. So it was really popular because with a lot of smaller streamers that were getting like a couple hundred views because they were in they were interacting with like their, the actual uh, their audience. Community. Yeah, they were interacting with their community that they were building. That's awesome. Like, so I don't know. I mean, the best action game, Black Ops 4, Dead Cells, Destiny 2, Far Cry, Mega Man 11, or yeah, Mega Man 11. I can see why Dead Cells won. Yeah. Because like I said, Destiny 2, I feel like it just flopped too hard in the beginning. Yeah, and then it made it to where mm-hmm. it's like a year later. <laughs> and I just, like Black Ops 4, it's a shooter. Like, I guess you can call that an action game. But like, it's Call of Duty at the end of the day. Call of Duty is going to be Call of Duty. No matter how great one is, mm-hmm. everybody 
because of how bad they were for such a long time, Call of Duty is Call of Duty. I don't yeah. think there's any argument on that anymore. Like, I will always argue for Call of Duty just because that's my thing. Just, I, like, in an aspect of winning an award, it's so hard to win an award now with so many great games coming out. Uh, yeah, plus, I mean, I didn't hear anything of Far Cry 5 after it dropped. Like, that game just fell off the face of the earth after it dropped. I beat yeah. that game, and I think, like, four, maybe even six hours at max, and it's just, like, I don't really? even play it anymore. Yeah, it really? was, cause, like, I flew through that. Like, I... Like I sometimes sometimes when I play a game I actually like go through side missions and stuff. No, I literally Yeah, I heard didn't. that game super like side like si like if you do just main story quests, I heard that game super short. Like the whole point of that game is to just branch off and explore and do everything that way. But I don't know. Alright, well, I mean cool. What do you think action and adventure game? God of War, of course. Do you, do you agree with that? Do you agree with that going against Red Dead, Robbie? Uh, no, honestly, like <laughs> Red Red Dead, man, best adventure. Uh -huh. It's open world survival, right? It's it's a old Western theme. Like everyone's yeah, it's like, second to none. yes, nobody else can make a game like that. Like, you know yeah. what? I actually, I want to play the online. The online looks like so much fun. Well, you got to remember, it's still in beta. Is the biggest. I problem. know. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, like, who cares really about that being in beta though? Like, it's Red Dead Online, dude. You could drag right. somebody down a dirt road on a horse. Right. That'd be lit. Well, <laughs> so best role playing games, obviously Monster Hunter World, since I had the shot for the game of the year. You knew that was. Yeah. Nino Kuni too. Not playing with you. I only got through like the first hour of that game so far, and I'm really hurt because I love. Like I could not drop the first one. All right. Are you guys ready for this one? Best fighting game. I don't know if you play fighting games, Robbie, since we haven't really talked much, but I know Brendan's into them, and some of our other friends. Do you agree? With DBZ fighters winning over Soul Calibur Six, that's easy, what I've been hearing. Easy, easy. I've been that's hearing free. a lot of stuff against that, like with nah, my that's... coworkers and stuff. But nah, nah. Okay, you gotta look at it like this. DBZ, what, what fighters dropped at beginning of the year? Or no, yeah, it dropped feel... in May. It dropped in May. Yeah, Soul but, Calibur what? Six Soul came Calibur out dropped in September. A month ago? Did yeah, it so, really? It, September, yeah, it was September October, like late October, I think. Yeah, no, it it was not touching that. Plus, you gotta look at it like this. What DBZ? At, uh, yeah, DBZ. What it replaced Evo's? What was it? Uh, Marvel versus Capcom because basically that game was RIP. All right, it was the highest like competitive scene for Evo. I'm pretty sure it had the most people actually enter that tournament for Dragon Ball Fighters. Soul Calibur, literally, literally Soul Calibur just came out too late. I would say it was just one of those. It was just one of those timing things. You know what I mean? I agree. I think so. It's, like a lot of games, like when it comes to like these type of like competitions, it's usually based off of like when they're coming out. And Soul Calibur, like it just had a running because of the name, really. Other than that, like everybody, I'm pretty sure if you were you played a fighting game, you definitely pick up Dragon Ball Fighters. They gave you content throughout the whole year, meta change 24 seven. It was just overall a really good. I mean, other than Vegeta support, but it was overall a really good game. Uh, the story mode, I'm not going to even front with you though, was was ass. Like it was well, okay, it wasn't ass, but it was just boring the way that okay. they set it up. It was really boring. But if you can get past that, yeah, I I 100 see why like it would win. So it, like looking at what Street Fighter Five, that game I heard isn't even a complete game really. They're just now still giving getting out like characters and stuff. Yeah, Blaze I mean, that, Blue is as yeah, big. Yeah, I haven't heard much on that. I yeah. mean, I don't I don't think I've like I said, I work at GameStop. I haven't sold a copy of that game, I think. So, I mean. Blaze Blue is more like, it's like an anime fighting game. So, it's like, other than, like, it's like one of those, like. Jump Force. <laughs> don't even get me hyped for that game, dude. I can't. I, I'm, I I'm still mad I couldn't get into the beta for that, but my little brother All I'm did. saying is I got the $270 collector edition. Uh, Are you, with the late figures? Jesus yeah, well, Christ, Yeah, I, well, I want the Naruto statues. <laughs> I hate you so much. Oh, <laughs> Nah, Naruto's like his oh. favorite anime, but um, it's the best. Yeah, no, nah, okay, be quiet. You're, you're tripping out. <laughs> um, but, I like One Punch Man. I'm sorry. Oh, what, I bro? That guy. You, no, <laughs> you guys, but you guys haven't watched that many anime though. Like, I'm pretty yeah, sure. I, watched, I mean, I've watched, yeah. I've watched FMA. Like, I've watched. I'm pretty sure everybody's watched FMA though. I mean, yeah, but I've watched FMA, Naruto, S. All right, Sao was good for the first 15 episodes, and so that no, shit got on like that bolt. <laughs> 
No, yes, it was. Until, this show was trash. No, until they were done. Once they were out of like that, the actual sword art, and they went to like Fairyland, that shit got straight garbage. I don't give a fuck. Like it got so bad. All right. All right. You know whatever. Okay. Back on topic. Best. Um, so. Best. What one you want to do next? What the heck? No, I'm not. Overcooked two won that, dude. Over Mario even... Party, but over Mario Party. Mario Party was. Trash. I heard it was trash. Heard no it was way. Trash. I love Mario Party. I sit there and play that bitch by myself. Well, right? yeah, that's because you, <laughs> I heard it's also it was bad because you couldn't get online play. No, you can, but you only can play online mini games. Oh, that's here's stupid. My thing. No, but here's my thing: if, if you're about to play online like Mario Party, right? Like the whole yeah. thing with that is like that game can, depending on if you do like the ten turn to like twenty turn game, whatever you set it to, right? That's like an hour to two and a half hours sitting there, depending on how like long it takes, you know? So, but I mean, give the players like, the option, but like, you know somebody, what I mean? Yeah, but like somebody could disappear and then you just you sit there while you're waiting for them to spin a die. You know what I mean? Or you, just, you could have like a timer set, but like Nintendo doesn't do that shit. You know what I mean? Like I, they don't, yeah. they don't care enough to do that shit. Like. Uh, it's 50 50 for me on that, but you know what, whatever. I'm not even gonna. Play do you want to just? Do you want to skip to? I want to go to best esports game because right, I'm like, looking do you at skip best multiplayer game then. Oh wait, where's multiplayer? Who um, are those so people? Best playing? multiplayer was Black Ops Four, Destiny Two, Fortnite, Monster Hunter World, Sea of Thieves. Dude. Who do you think won <laughs> just from hearing it without even looking at it? Without looking at it, it would obviously be Fortnite, but I wish Call of Duty would have won it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say. I wish Call of Duty was. Because Robbie sits there playing Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, because I used to play the hell out of Fortnite until like February. And then after that, I, like, I hop on every now and then. That's all I play. No, I mean, that's me. Really? Like, dude. For the I'm, most part. Fortnite's my thing. Like, you guys heard me bug out right before we started about the fucking skins that just came out. Like, <laughs> like, like I, I said, know. I wish, but I already knew Fortnite was going to win. Come on. It's, it, everybody and their mom right. play that game other than Pokemon Go. Bro, I know right. this is completely off topic, but I got thought out there. My dog is just sitting here staring at me, and it's kind of freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> I think Natalie probably took Flapjack, huh? No, nah, Flapjack's he's been asleep downstairs because Morris and everybody's over. Oh he's yeah, he's just been chilling. All right, let's oh. go to best esports game because Overwatch probably shouldn't have won. <laughs> you don't think so? Really? Yeah. Uh, no. Because, well, I mean, well, the only other one would have been like CS:GO. No, I would say CSGO. CS, no, no, the biggest problem with CSGO was the guy from Optic got caught cheating. Like, they had that big scandal that Optic, oh, yeah, yeah, Optic yeah. got caught cheating. And, like, how uh, could you man. not? Like, granted, they caught it, but I guess I'm, I'm assuming how much, how many times was he cheating before he got caught? Like, oh, that yeah. just ruins your game. Well, you got to think also, is that going to affect, like, their whole team score? Because, like, they might just, it, you know. I think they like, just, I think they did, I think they banned the guy from the league, to be honest with you. Yeah, I, I think, think they, they, got, they like, banned him. I banned. mean, Dota 2, mm. League of Legends, Fortnite. Fortnite competitive is just, it's just not the way it should be because, like, the way GBs and stuff are ran aren't the same way that, like, like CSGO, League of Legends, that stuff, that it's not ran the same way. Well, yeah, but, like, even when Fortnite casts, their casters aren't that great. Like, they grab, like, random players, like, especially when it first started. Like, Nick Merckx casted. Like, Nick Merckx isn't a caster, you know what I mean? Like, Courage is a caster. He was the best Call of Duty caster ever. Like, you need people like that casting, where they get hype over stuff, not just sit there. You know I what I mean? I thought Fortnite would have won before Overwatch or even League. I just Good. think the following, even though Fortnite has a huge following, it's competitive doesn't have a huge following. <laughs> just it's, it's just it's streaming does in YouTube. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You got me there. All right. Um, um the and best then, esports oh, player, of course, Sonic Fox. Didn't like, he win like three of four major fighting tournaments? Boy, that man's been, been winning Evo since like three years ago. He's got oh. here. Nobody's touching him. He's won in Mortal Kombat, what Injustice won, and I believe two. And he won the first DBZ fighters after everybody was like, "Oh, you can't hang with us in this." And he literally bodied everybody in that whole tournament. I mean, There's nothing else said. Tokido, he had a chance, but you guys probably don't know him. Uzi, eh, no. I've only ever heard of a few people. Only to I would only say Tokido and Uzi would have a chance, but Sonic Fox, the dudes, the dude won I think two Evo tournaments this year, and he's working on the Smash competitive scene this year now. There's not even a question. All right, 
most of the stuff I can't really talk about, like best esports moments. It's like the triple OT versus FaZe Cloud9 comeback. I don't even know what that is. I think that's Ken. No, um, he might. No, 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 man. I'm that's thinking of Ken. That's the E League. I mean, yeah. I don't know what the E League is. Um, most of the stuff I'm not gonna know because it's like fighters and stuff. Like I said, I'm more of a COD kind of guy. But do you guys agree with Ninja being the content creator of the year? Pokemon. I don't care. Uh, Pokemon. Pokemon. I know. For yeah, I know I you're about I'm... to pick Pokemon. We're twenty-year-old guys. We're gonna pick Pokemon. No, over Ninja. no. Listen, the to only me. reason I have to go with Ninja um is because His Ninja kind of relates to the younger audience more than like like well, I get like, Pokey. Yeah, she's hot. Like, dude, it doesn't even matter about her being hot. She's been she's like been my favorite like, streamer. She, she's since. she's a great streamer. I've actually watched her stream. She's not like we're like we said, we're not gonna get into the streamer guy versus girl topic until we have a girl here to defend it. But um or talk about it at least, not defend it because we're not gonna attack Taylor, but you know. <laughs> uh, no, no. I just feel like is, with like, Ninja. Uh, <laughs> like Ninja being content creator of the year. He played with Drake, Juju Smith Schuster, and Travis Scott. I know he <laughs> He broke he the played. internet with that. Okay, I'll give you but, that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He, but he's brought. He was on the cover of of ESPN or Sports Illustrated. Like he was on the cover. Yep. I is know. It, I'm only picking Pokemon because I've been blue watching hair, blue hair, and he's on the cover. Dude, I only pick Pokemon because I've seen her like since she was like only getting a thousand views a day to now, and it just makes me happy that like to see her get here. Ninja well, I mean, it because... was the same with Ninja. No, it was only no, 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 no. Views. Ninja blew up because of the hype train. Pokemon blew up because of her like connections and everything like that, and she did a lot of work behind the scenes and on the scenes. Whoa. Ninja blew up because of Fortnite, and he was good at it. All right, I'm not going home because of that. He, well, he's a good player. Thing, but he's yeah, like, literally one of the best players in the world for it. All right. I mean, yeah, not competitively, but yeah, definitely he is. But I mean, it's the way how. He, but like, you have to think. If you watch his old streams, he used to cost and freak out and all this stuff. He changed his entire thing about this. He sits in front of a screen for like 12 hours a day, right? Yeah. Around. Something like that. He yep. changed his complete attitude. Like, it's not like, yeah, he blew up because the hype train. But when he realized how fast he was blowing up and how young his audience actually was, he completely switched that shit off. Like, he, he doesn't cuss. It might slip out once in a while, but like, he does not cuss. Like, he doesn't freak out. He try like he won't play with Nick Merckx anymore. Like he won't play with certain streamers unless he's not streaming because he doesn't want them cussing and he knows they probably can't control it. Like Nick Merckx even says, like I can't play with him right now because I'm not. He goes, he's streaming. Like I if it slips up, I'll feel you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he, he doesn't want to disrespect his audience and Ninja doesn't want to like not respect like other people's audience too. Like you'll hear Tim the Tap Man like will mute his mic in game chat when he's freaking out but if you're watching his stream he's cussing up a storm like it's yeah. just how it goes like i mean he's done things to make himself stay at the top mm -hmm. and i just i respect what he's done i'm not a huge like like i said he's not my favorite streamer but i've definitely i watch him because he's entertaining but like he was in he was more entertaining before when he did freak out just that's my kind of thing i don't know all right well since we're on fortnite let's switch it up all right, you want to talk about Fortnite still? All yeah, right. Yeah, let's talk about some Fortnite. So, let's talk about the lawsuits first before we actually get into the game. So, right. lawsuits going on with Fortnite. You guys know who Two Milli is? Do you guys well, know the dance, the Millie yep. Rock? Yeah. The, yeah. All right. So, apparently, he found out that like his dance was in the game, the Millie Rock is in the game, and he wants a he wants to cut of a check. Uh, only thing is, like that's what everybody's been saying is you can't trademark a dance. So, how do you guys you think that's gonna go? Um, here's um, my thing. I, here, I get, I guess it's different than that they're making it for profit, right? Like, Fortnite's making a profit off his dance, like, the way he does it in his music video years ago. They took it, put it in his game, in the game, right? Mm, Chance correct. the Rapper said the same thing. So did the guy from Scrubs, which is why the default dance in Fortnite now is the floss. Like, if mm. you go into your locker, like, I'm on Fortnite right now. There is no gray, like the gray. Oh, actually, it's still in there. It's actually still in there is the default. But they said sometime during season seven, they're changing the default dance to the fall. Well, yeah, I was just wondering when, because... the, when like the actual court cases start, they're going to have to because it's not fair to him. But here's my thing. Like you only want a cut of it now because it's super big. 
like you didn't want to cut of it when Fortnite wasn't making millions of dollars. You know what I'm saying? That's because yeah. I mean it wasn't making millions of dollars until you see kids start taking that type of dance. Like here's my it. thing. Like let's be realistic here. How many kids really know where the Millie Rock came from? In all reality, like let's be real. Well, I mean, yeah. if you're over the age of like fifth, four, or right, think about this. Yeah, Fortnite's main fan base is what fifth, like say thirteen and under. So thirteen to like seven, give them that those six years. But if you're over the age of like, if you're around thirteen and up, you know the Millie Rock came from that. Yeah, I feel like so. I feel like even when you buy it or you get it for the things, I feel like you know, like the tidy fucking Snoop Dogg. If you don't know that, I hate you. Like, <laughs> get the hell out of here. Like, that's been memed so much that I, like, that's my you. thing is like, you, like, you know what I mean? Like, there's some things you just know. Like, you know, the Groove Jams, Napoleon Dynamite. And if you don't, like, then you're just not pop culture and you're just riding the Fortnite train, which is completely fine. But it's like, you got to know where some of this shit comes from. So, oh, but, like, yeah. here's my thing there's YouTubers that do dances like that and shit that go on YouTube and they make thousands of dollars a month. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because that's what and Roy Purdy do. did, which is the Orange Justice. That's his actual dance, but, you know, everybody thinks it's the kid who did the dance. Yeah, yeah. But, here, yeah but here's my thing. is like Ninja. Ninja has that weird dance here that he used to do where he might still stream. If somebody else does it, he's not going to steal it from them. Like, he's not going to be like, yeah. Because here, here's my thing. You make enough money. Do you really need to take it from Epic Games? And also, it's like most of these dances are five dollars. What do you mm -hmm. want, two fifty? Like you know what I'm saying, go fifty fifty on it. But they got to pay their developers and shit. So if like you're taking half, you of get, that, he's only gonna get like at most ten percent. No, like, that's what I'm saying. Is he? It's wants not even it. worth the fight. It's not even he worth goes, the fight. Yeah, like you're gonna spend more of the money you're making not making songs because he's gonna I don't make. Even think he's well, he doesn't even make me. That. Yeah, I was gonna say he hasn't made a song in years. I'm just saying that like, is this a waste? You you spend more in court than what you're actually gonna get if you get anything. Well, and that's my thing is like looking at this right now. There's like multiple, and I get there's multiple people that do it. Like, there's multiple. They've stolen or they've stolen in quotations or in quotes. Like, you've stolen dances. But like I said. Anybody can, like I could stream and start doing the tidy or like the Snoop Dogg dance, or I could do like mm -hmm. the, the floss. It's not trademark. It's never go like you can't do it because anybody can do a dance at any point in time. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like dabbing. Like, yes, whoever, I don't. Who the fuck made dabbing? It was, <laughs> it's a trend that kids will do on the streets. Like you know what I'm saying? Like what they need to pay you five dollars to do the damn dab. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, I mean, you also got to look at it too, like. So I don't know if you guys know, but they actually took the dance off because of this uh, whole lawsuit issue. Wait, is Wait, it what? swipe it off? No, yep. way. no, no. Off. no, so bro. I want my dance back. That's the no, reason why not. I bought I'm the battle pass. Looking at it right now. No, no, no. So no, no, no. Okay, you still have it. Yes, um, you cannot buy it. Oh, okay. They took it off of the, oh, the like, shop. item shop rotation. Yeah, but the no, but swipe it wasn't part of the item shop. Swipe it was, it was part of the battle pass. pass. Yeah. No. The floss well, was like so, like all the problem is all the ones that are like getting sued for, like the floss, the swipe it, and the default. You if you bought like so the thing is if you bought the default or if you got the game you get the default dance right. Yeah. That's how it goes. The swipe it and floss were both part of the battle pass, so you're paying you're paying nine fifty for a hundred things. What are you gonna get? You're gonna get fifty. You're gonna get what five cents because. You're gonna get ten dollars divided by ten in your one yeah, thing. So you're you're like one dollar. You're gonna get your so your ten dollars is divided by a hundred. So what like you know what I'm saying? Like Yeah. You're not there's you're not one penny profit. per thing. There's one penny per thing, right? On average say that's what that would be. Yeah. So you, what, you get ten percent of one penny. Like you're gonna get what, maybe ten bucks. It's it's just not worth it. Like I just it's I'm I and then, like obviously it's a little different because we didn't make them. But. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, but here's my thing is how like how many people probably did some some variation of the Millie Rock swipe it before like he even made it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it was prob you never create a dance move. Like you know what I mean? Like you might Yeah, someone's a dance done move. it somewhere where it's it's or not obviously like what you are doing. It's always something a little different, but yeah, it's but pretty like, much the same thing. I think like, the biggest argument really right now is like for like at least my community because you know I'm brown. That's how we are. It's yeah. basically like the real reason like why everybody's fighting it is because I really think it's just black people are sick of like 
people making money off of our culture. That's really what I mean. I didn't really want to say anything. Obviously, since I am white, I didn't want to bring that up. <laughs> no, you're but fine. I've, <laughs> I've heard a lot of things on that act. Here's yeah. the thing. Like they said, complaints by multiple multiple rappers, Snoop Dogg, as well as the act of the is Fonzo Ribeiro, um, or the Carlton dance or the guy yeah. from Scrubs. Like those are three African-Americans that made some of the best dances that you've seen. Like everybody knows the Carlton dance. He says, oh, yeah. He's been on interviews where he says every day of his life he is asked to do that dance. Snoop Dogg is iconic. You know what I mean? Scrubs, mm-hmm. was one of the, Scrubs was a great TV show for the 2000s. You know what I mean? Like, granted, I didn't watch it. I've seen stuff on it. Like, stuff still is talked about on it. There's memes about it all the time. Like, but it's like, like I said, like, you don't want a piece. Like, everybody wants something when it's making money. Like you yeah. didn't, you didn't, he didn't care that it was in the game until after they started making money on it. Like Grant thing. I think, I think the swipe, it came out in season four, season four or five. It's season. I seven. think it was four. No, yeah, four. I, it wasn't season seven. It was sort of early. No, no four or five. I said it is season seven. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So what it's average seasons about 80 days, 70 to 80 days. It took you six months to bring this up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you could have brought it up the second you saw it in the game, but that's just me. I don't know. I mean, that's like, what I I would have done that if I would have been like, "Yo, hold up, boy, you guys got my dance moves in this game. I ain't getting paid." That's well, what I would have done. And, and that's my thing. And that's my thing is like, and like you said, like people are profiting off black culture, African American culture on multiple things. But like in this case, I just feel like if you were so against it, you, you should have just been on top of it right yeah. away. Yeah, and granted, you might not play Fortnite, you. But everybody, I remember when that came in the in the store. Everybody talked about it when that was on that battle pass. Everybody talked about it for a solid like two weeks. That's the only reason why I got the battle pass. I ain't gonna front. Well, that's I was what like, I'm they saying. got the Millie Rock in here, and I immediately bought the battle pass. I'm <laughs> well, not gonna lie. See, and that's just me. I don't know. I just feel like there there's stuff to be. If you want to be really on that, you need to be on it and not like. Think- 50, 50. Do you think eventually they'll make it to the point of where they're going to have a trademarking system for dances? I don't think so. It would because it already would have happened. I mean, granted, today's society is different than 20, 30 years ago, but I just feel like it would have happened because like everybody makes a burger. You just trademark the Big Mac or the Whopper. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You can like who's saying if i dab but i move my fingers a different way it's not the dab anymore it's something else you know what i'm saying because yeah. a little variation of the dance makes it not the same you know what i mean yeah i got you so it's too that i think it's one of those things where it's too hard to trademark to where you can actually <laughs> trademark it oh yeah all right um so it Do you want now us? we'll get into the actual game now so what are they in season seven now Season Correct. Seven. Yes. So we're in season season seven of four. Wait, seven seasons in only a year? What the? Uh, four hundred. No, 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 no. Not in only a year, dude. Um, well, you gotta Fortnite's... listen. I played Fortnite. I bought the original game. It's been like a year and a half, right? PVE version last May, like May of 2017. I bought the PVE version with my friend Lambo, and then we Lambo. got we've, we we. Like we started playing a little bit, we died off like the PVE because like obviously over we were playing Overwatch and stuff back then. We were playing other games with other friends, and we were the only two with that one. Mm-hmm. But I remember in like September or like late September, early October when Battle Royale came out, like season one. Like on my Xbox account, I had that original Mako glider. Like I have some of the original skins you can't even get anymore that you have that like wow. people want. Like I could literally like that like that Mako so glider. Account- if your account has that, you can literally sell it for like thousands of like a thousand dollars yeah because that's just it. that's the original well that's what i'm saying is like i have stuff from back then so this game's been out for such a long time it's just right. it got popular around like when everybody was when uh, every guy was posting his first fucking fortnite win or one of his fortnite wins <laughs> when battle royale essentially came out yeah well i mean battle royale's been out forever because h1z1's been out for years yeah but fortnite's versions are better is why because of the fact that it has that ability to um, manipulate the environment uh, along with being able to sandbox, you know, create wherever you want. Yeah. That's why Fortnite got its, you know, its its debut was that you could do all that. Yeah, I agree. 
I definitely agree with that. I mean, it's it's one of those things where I just think I don't think as long as they're listening to the community, it's never. I just I, I firmly believe that. Give it maybe five years down the road, it might die. But for right now, it Seriously. is there is nothing that's going to come out unless Better it's than free. It right now. Unless it's free, that's going to kill Fortnite. Because that's the whole thing. Think mm-hmm. about it. If because truly, you could spend ten dollars on Fortnite. And never spend another dime again. Oh yeah, because you buy one battle pass for ten dollars. You and get you just skin, keep getting your V bucks. You get emotes up. and you get your V bucks back. Like, all right, I'll look at my battle pass right now since I do have it up. Like, because what you get the free battle pass now and the one if you buy it. So if you spend ten dollars, you get a hundred, two hundred, or you get seven hundred, don't you? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. By tier fifty nine of this season, you get a thousand V bucks. Yep, and then you get. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You get 1,500 V-Bucks in a season. So even if you spend 500 of them, you can still buy the Battle Pass. So that gets you, what, one emote out of the store, a blue emote out of the store once a season? Mm, but like, yeah. you know what I mean? You don't, the thing is you don't have to put money into Fortnite. You don't at all. You could be a default skin if you really wanted to. Default you skin. never have to they, put, they, they're never liars, have to put. dude. Those are the ones that you try and crap on and then you're, you're dead. Yeah, but here's my thing is you never, not one time, ever have to put money into Fortnite. You never have to. All right, so let's talk about like what's going on with Season 7. So they just vaulted the sword two days ago, two, three days ago. Yeah, the Infinity broken. Blade. The Infinity Blade, baby. Yeah, the boy basically went two-tap combo. Due to fan outrage, the tweet said, Hey, you folks, we messed up and rolled out the, the Infinity Blade overpowered. Slash without good counters, especially in the end game, the Infinity Blade has been vaulted. And we are reevaluating our approach to mythic items. Thank you for calling us out on this. I mean, I didn't get to play with it in there, so I can't complain. Um, um, I was doing the pop up cup the other day, uh, two days ago, three days ago. I don't remember what one. Down, did you? No, actually, I, I, I'll tell you exactly why I didn't get my win. Um, I was playing in the final circle. It was at Fatal Fields. Um, um, and like the way the pop-up cup works is every like three, five, seven eliminations, you get the one point top 10, you get two points, top three, you get two points. And if you win, you get two points. Um, I'm in top, t- I'm in like top six. I hear the infinity blade. I build this one by one, whatever. Um, and I'm starting to move towards the circle, like up in the air. He br- the infinity blade breaks my build down. I take fall damage, whatever I had heals. Um, I come down to top three. I kill this other guy. But the Infinity Blade was so, it healed you for one health per second, along with if you killed somebody, that 50 health boost. And the other guy with the Infinity Blade killed two people prior to the top before the final three fight. I went to fight the last guy. I legendary pumped him for 200. I only have like 150 health and I got killed instantly. Like, that even if you're building, it can still kill you. Like, it hits you through builds. Like, it was just so overpowered and stupid. I lost my pop up match. And just got me so pissed off. I didn't want to play because even, yeah, you can out, you can probably outdo it eventually. It's just like, it moves 150% faster than you. You could fit. The Infinity Blade could build. Like it was just so overpowered. Like there's nothing you can do. And like the legendary pump headshots 210 or 220. What am I supposed to do with that? That should kill you. Yeah. Like, I don't know. That's just, it was. But granted, it was there was one of them. But in solos, it was or duos, it was super overpowered. Even in squads, because if you're in a squad that's alive, you have one guy with the sword to three guys shooting. If you even get in a four v four team fight, they're gonna focus the guy with the sword. And everybody with guns is just gonna shoot out their team. It's just it was just too ridiculously overpowered. What about planes? I like planes, planes are- personally. Um, at first I hated them. Not gonna lie. Uh, they're okay now. I mean, I think that now that they added damage, when you get shot out of them, it's definitely made people not as reckless. Or when they explode, they're not as reckless. Mm-hmm. Cause you used to be able to just dive bomb. Like now, you take that twenty-five damage. Yeah, and I mean, granted, twenty-five damage ain't really shit. But if it's like fifty, you're pretty much screwed anyway. So I mean, twenty-five is where it's probably gonna have to sit at. Well, I mean. I don't know. I feel like the more that the planes are in the game, the more they're going to die out because you get straight popped on those things. Like if you're on the wings and stuff, if you're not the one flying, if you're the one on the wing, you're getting your rocked. Like I've been popped oh, yeah. on the thing so frequently 
like because if your if your pilot's not good, they just drive, they strive, they fly. Holy fuck, straight. <laughs> you're gonna get sniped right off that shit for like two ten. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah. I mean, yeah, gonna... I haven't hit a shot. I've been, I like hit maybe one shot out of every time I've ever played <laughs> on a plane. And I mean, and when you're on the plane, it's just so it's so hard for the pilot to even like maneuver the people on the wings to get shots at the people on the ground. It's just one of those things where it's they're balanced enough to where they can be in the game. I just think there should be fewer of them in the game. Yeah, like you there's like three at every. Because like think about it, if you land frosty flights, there's like seven there. If you land at what next to salty, there's the hill like the middle hill next to divot and salty have three apiece. Like every hill has like three of them on there. Like maybe knock that down to two per hill, and just balance it out a little bit. I don't know, I'd dude, say but... just do like one per hill and then leave Frosty Blights with three, just because you know the name. For goodness sakes, if you really yeah, I mean that's that that's my thing is like there's just so much stuff you could do. Mm -hmm. Like the planes definitely open the way to play the storm a little bit slower though, which I'm not a big fan of because that was the same thing with redeploy. I wasn't a big fan of redeploy strictly because you never had to worry about the storm because you just build straight up and jump down. No yeah, fall halfway across map. And the same thing with plane. You can fly the plane straight up, jump off, and glide. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. so I don't know. There's stuff to be tweaked, but the way they have it right now is pretty perfect with the update of 25 damage. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. What do you think they're going to put in next overall? What? I don't even. Probably another fucking. I'm hoping they're done bringing in. I hope they're done bringing in items for a little bit. No, I really do. You just want to let it rock out like this? For a little bit. I mean, like, there's been articles, people saying they might bring back the Thanos thing when around. Oh, when, yeah, uh, I seen that, yeah. When, um, and oh, it, comes the, out. And, yep, yeah, yeah. Or, like, a tribute to Stan Lee. They're going to do that. Um, I know they said they might be bringing uh, winter variants to some of our favorite skins, like the Love Ranger, Red Knight, stuff like that. They're saying like they, they're kind of working on skins and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, like right now, I'm perfectly content with like the guns that are in the game. Like some of the shit that was vaulted was just crazy. Or like that they have, like you remember the uh, the drum gun? Yes, I'm, I'm uh, the Tommy it. gun. I miss yeah. it. Yeah, but that, the thing had 50 bullets. Hit you for like 35 and would shoot past builds. That thing was so like you it literally people picked that over ARs and shotguns. Like, it was good at close and long range because it took assault rifle bullets, but it was a submachine gun. Well, and that's what and that's what my thing is like. Like that was just so stupid. Like Yeah. And they and also like, took out the submachine gun, the little oh, like MP5 looking one. That one was oh, OP as well. Are you talking about the original submachine gun or the TAC yeah. submachine gun? The one that oh, the TAC purple. submachine gun. I miss the TAC. The purple boy? Man. Honestly, that uh, was so great to combo with for the shotgun. Oh. Yeah, but I mean, like, like I, like I, they even took out the silenced one. Because remember how, like, they said submachine guns aren't going to get first shot dead or first shot accuracy anymore? But the silenced one still had it. So you pop shots with the silence suppressed, like, across map. It was still hit for, like, 42 to the head. Like, it was stupid. Like... The shit they have vaulted were just, I don't know, they were just kind of, they were all over the place. I don't know. That was just It was just a rough thing. season for them. Because that's, I mean, like, that's when I they think, did it all. Aren't the grand finals for the Fortnite on right now? Like for their major tournament? I couldn't tell you. I don't really keep up with the competitive scene as much as I used to when it first dropped. I thought, I really thought it was today because it said... It says Grand Finals. Oh, these were the heats. Or, yeah, it said Grand Finals. I need the Grand Finals Wednesday. Oh, they were on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday when the sword was out. I was like, not today. I don't know why I thought today was Wednesday. But yeah, they like I said, this guy won. What? You, you win $75,000. Yep. With the sword. Or it's like... It de With the yeah, sword. It depends. He got the sword and got like 14 eliminations. Yeah. What was he supposed to do? Like nobody could stop it because they're not going to, they're not all going to stop to fight the other guy. They're all going to pick up kills. Like it just came out at the worst. 
it came out that sword dropped at the worst time possible it yeah, came out was- at the actual worst time possible and like a lot of professional players and people that were in that cup were very disappointed oh like, yeah they were bashing fortnite on it like, like i, well, I mean i was watching the one of the tournaments or whatever and uh uh liquid chap uh, or chappy yeah uh, whatever you want to call him he uh he originally got the sword and he it was funny because i was watching it how he was uh spelling out his promotional code or sponsor code and uh he was just you know trolling all of the professionals and uh it was just a great tournament to watch him get to the end until uh, a uh, ghost took him out but man he was just right in that last circle when it was like 20 guys he was just flying back and forth destroying everyone's builds and like you could you could see people raging like as like on their streams um as they were like getting obliterated by the sword and uh, i'm just i'm glad they took it out only because yeah it is too op or at least they should have at least disabled it for like the tournament events yeah, exactly. the, thing, the, tur- the tournaments aren't ran on like their own server they're just a private yeah. match like they just have a code they use to get into it yeah but, like i don't think fortnite has the capability like the way that like it's set up i don't think they can shut it down just for like one match you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. yeah i don't think that, i don't think they have like the capability to do that i mean like with the vaulted weapons you have the original submachine gun the tack submachine gun the crossbow revolver drum gun suppressed sub light machine gun dual pistols which actually broke my heart when those got taken out. The guided missile, which when it first came out was stupid. It's still amazing. No, it's not even in the game. It's vaulted now. But <laughs> I know, thing... but it's still amazing. No, you... but when that game, when that thing first came out, it was doing like it would it'd blow up your build and still hit you for hundred damage. Like you could not do anything. Mm-hmm. The one thing I'm super glad they got rid of is the double barrel shotgun, though. I have a clip on my. I think it's trash. <laughs> No, I actually have a clip on my Twitch, Brendan, and it, I literally, oh my god, dude, hit a guy 94 of the head, close range. I was pissed. I was, Oof. I was livid. I, I almost lost. I'm like, dude, this thing's supposed to hit for like 300. Like, what are you talking about? The damage is one, like 20. Yeah. Just, I don't know. I mean, I'm like when the game. I don't know. I'm like I said, I played Fortnite when it first came out, like when they had the electrical trap. So like you knew there was a fucking trap in a building. Mm-hmm. Like, like I, I can't. Like when you could only place the spike traps on the floor kind of thing. Like I played yeah. back then, like when they had the jump pads up and directional. Like I played all the way back then. Like, like I don't know. I still remember fucking Anarchy Acres. Like what are you talking about? Get rid of fucking Lazy Links. Bring me back Anarchy. Like, hmm. I don't know. That's, I don't know. I just, they're changing it to an extent that makes it where it has a lot of replayability because like, like I said, when you turned on season seven and saw that Grove and Flush Factory were gone and it was all snow, you're like, oh shit, like I gotta go check this out. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And like, I mean, I'm still not seeing anything. Like, I, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't landed Happy Hamlet time because I just don't know how to loot it and everybody goes there now. So, mm, yeah, it's just rough overall. All right. So, last, we'll do this last topic Ugh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. You guys, uh, Austin, you got it first night, right? Call of Duty? Yeah. I worked a minute release and then got on and played it. Uh, Robinson, who you, you played it on High 6 system? or who just, who's Yeah, just, I played it a couple times. Uh, not just on High 6, but uh, uh, on some other people's PlayStations. Because I don't, I haven't gotten it for P- PC and I don't think I will. All right. Um, so how do you feel about it, Robbie? Uh, I don't know. So, like, I am a huge, like old school call of duty fan you know anything past black ops 2 i'm not really you know i'm not really into it uh, not even it. the remaster of call of duty uh um, modern, warfare modern warfare one and I'll, uh I'll i don't know black ops 4 kind of hit me um because it's very it's very similar where it's it's got you know it's only got that multiplayer aspect there is no campaign and that just kind of throws me off from you know i want the traditional call of duty where i can play a campaign and uh you know <laughs> what's, what's, the, what's the last what's the last campaign both of you played uh i think infinite warfare had campaign you played infinite warfare i i played it for a month <laughs> <laughs> no world war ii had campaign too didn't it uh i'm not sure I, i'm like gonna be I said, honest I like i said i i play call of duty competitively so my biggest thing whenever call of duty comes out was 
get on it, learn the guns, learn the way the like everything works together, figure out what I'm using. You know what I mean? Like that's just mm -hmm. how I've always been. I, like after, especially after BO2, that was my biggest thing. Like I straight mm -hmm. switched to only competitive during BO2, but. Oh, I don't know. see, like, I Call love... Duty is doing a double XP weekend this weekend, guys. Oh, bro, are you serious? Yeah, so you looks like Dang you're getting it. on after this, Brendan. Oh, I will be getting on, but <laughs> I th me and Natalie are going to dinner after this real quick, so. Yeah, but, so, um... I mean, um, I mean, Black Ops 4. So, you played it, you said you played on PlayStation, you're not getting... Yeah, I don't think, I, I don't know how I really feel about it. Like, I like the controls, I like the guns, just the, the way it feels in general is... It feels like a Call of Duty game, but it just doesn't give me that satisfaction of like a true traditional Call of Duty game. Like, but I mean, they, it's because I think they fell into the trend a little too much. The battle royale. Yeah. Like, granted, Blackout's phenomenal. Like, I've I I played Blackout beta. I played like three matches of Blackout since the game came out, like in October, um, two months ago now. Mm -hmm. But I'm still a fan of Blackout. I'm not against it. I. I think it plays how it should. It's more of a PUBG feel than a, like I said, like how you should say Fortnite feel on it. Mm -hmm. The first person aspect. I like how it's first person. I think that's a great way it plays. Just the guns don't play in Battle Royale the same way they do in the multiplayer. And that always throws me off. And it's just the way I am. Like it bugs yeah. me a little bit. And I don't know. Like I just, I think the, the blackout portion needs to be tweaked a little bit, but mostly on bo4 it's i think it's phenomenal just i mean granted i don't play it as much as i'd like to because just other games i mean it's finals time so we don't really yeah. have time to play much right now but i mean like i mean i have a couple guns gold i mean our friend i think our friend oscar is what brendan he's seventh sixth seventh prestige or something now like mm -hmm. i proceeded a week insane. after i like got it like I mean, me I'm like level 55. Uh, I want to actually. I'm on the O4. I just switched over, so I'm gonna see what Oscar is. I think he. Dude, what's his? He's oh, he's fifth prestige. Okay, he's fifth. I have a friend that's ninth. Um, a couple friends that are prestige master. Prestige it's just one of those. Master, Jesus Christ. I mean, it's one of those games where I don't know. My here's my biggest like way I know it's blowing back up is uh. Scump. Scump alone has gained what? I think he said in the first two weeks of Black Ops 4 coming out, he got back to 15,000 followers. Wow. Or er, not 15,000 followers, 15,000 oh. subscribers. My bad. Wow. Um, first, like, Crim6 is streaming right now, pulling in 1,000 viewers. He's rocking. How many subs? He only has 2,000 subscribers, I think. Oof. But I mean, he's not as big as a he. But we gotta remember, Scump came off the YouTube grind where he's rocking. What? Let me go, Scump. If you go to his uh Twitch, I don't think it tells you his subscriber count, but he's just one of those people. I mean, like he alone. He's even said that Black Ops Four is the reason he wants like he plays like he's streaming making youtube videos and all this stuff because he actually enjoys the call of duty for one again yeah like, this is probably my favorite call of duty since bo2 honestly and is this because the guns feel right only thing that i still don't like that you already know i don't like austin is i'd say still the health bar thing i miss just like healing back up i, I mean, mean I this is practice but i mean I just I mean, personally I, don't like it. I get where people come on that aspect, but it's also, I feel like you have to play it smarter. Like, I feel like it forces, at least from a competitive standpoint, it forces you to go a little faster mm -hmm. or it forces yeah. you to back off and just retake the angle on a fight because there's no, there's no reason to, uh, Heal like there's no time. reason at all to, just keep fighting something if you're not going to get the win. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like I mean, like, especially competitive where one gunfight, like in CWL, Optic against, I think it was Splice, had a 100-point comeback when Splice was at 240, like, 5. 
an op- optic hundred point comeback to me hard point because of a couple kills here and there. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, granted, they have perfect rotations and stuff, but towards the end of the game when Splice was pushing in the hill, Grim 16 kills, but Karma picks up the other one. I mean, like, it's just stuff like that. Like, it forces players to get with good. the healing aspect is you have to pick your fights. You have to hit your shots because one missed bullet there at nine health. They can heal up to 50 health before you're back around the corner and they can shred your teammate. You yeah. know what I mean? It forces you to hit your shots. It forces you to be correct on call outs. Know where people are exactly at. I don't know. Just. And like I said, I always play it. Um. A little bit differently than um others at least in the standpoint of like i always play it with like competitive in mind which mm-hmm. is why granted you guys play you tend to play hardcore and i play core um i just i'm not a super big fan of like the hard because like we said we were playing the other day in hardcore and i was killing kids with one bullet like well what am i supposed to like that's not even like granted cool i'm getting a ton of kills but it's like i'm also not doing much you know like, I don't, I don't know. know. I feel like ever since because they sw- they swapped it from hitboxes, right? It's like projectile like hits. Now. I think so. I think so. Yeah, I was I reading just, something on it. I haven't looked much into how they switched it. Yeah, but. I just hate like how like out of nowhere one of my like my bullets will just like miss. One will hit and like leg, and then the other ones just completely miss when I'm using the swordfish. Like I have a four hit like four hits. Why is my last bullet hitting, but my first three aren't? You know what I mean? Yeah, I definitely get that aspect. I mean, like, we were playing with Jake, dude. Call of Duty gets you raged. It's one of those <laughs> things. <laughs> Granted, some people get a little more messed up than I, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm a super big fan of the BO4 comeback. Like, I think, but here's, like I said, I I believe Black Ops is the way Call of Duty needs to stay. I don't know oh, if Robbie definitely. agrees with it. I mean, <laughs> no, I stop giving that. it the Activision. Wait, no. I mean, yeah. Act, yeah. not Activision. Sledgehammer. Uh, Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer. Oh, yeah, Sledgehammer. I was Sledgehammer. like, wait, wait, wait. And like, and <laughs> like, we'll get, we'll, we'll get into all the other Call of Duties some other... Just, I'm saying, Sledgehammer's the reason they went futuristic. They tried to bring it back, and they couldn't. And it's... It's tragic. <laughs> it's tragic. I am a big fan of the... I don't know. Just the way it plays. It's super smooth. I'm a big fan of the operators, except the new one. Zero's a little stupid. Um, I don't know. Just, I'm not a, I'm, I don't know. Like, their contraband, like, tier system thing kind of pisses me off a little bit. But that's just me. That's because they stole it from Fortnite. Well, it's not even that they stole it from Fortnite. It's just, it's really, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, like. It's dumb. You feel, oh, yeah, that's I, like, actually it, another it, thing I wanted to bring up because. In the new DLC that just dropped on what Tuesday or something like that? Yeah, it was Tuesday. Earlier this week, yeah. Yeah. They literally have two guns that you have to unlock in it. And one's at tier fifty and the other one's at tier one hundred. Like, what happened to me just getting my gun or me just getting it with the DLC? Well, or me no, being able also, to buy it. No, no, it's it's and David was bitching about it. It's pay to win. Um, it is pay to win, yeah. And it's like and, but I don't think it's pay to win strictly. <laughs> you're playing and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dog on anybody, but you're playing you're playing multiplayer. People want to win. I I agree. Um, but competitively, those guns aren't allowed. Like in a competitive standpoint, they're not allowed yet. At least I was gonna say um, yet. But I don't think they ever will be allowed. So that's just me. They, the only gun that was ever allowed for DLC was BO2 when they allowed the people. In the piece, <laughs> that was my favorite, man. I miss that gun. I but miss like, too. Like, that's my thing is like, they don't even, like, they don't even play the way, like, I don't know. I just, I'm not a big, like, I don't think it's going to be a problem, truly. Like, I'm on the new map pack right now, and like, yeah, it's playing a little different than I'd like it to. Mm-hmm. But, oh, I just shit on two kids, actually. But, um, like I said, like, it's literally just, it's one of those things where it's, it's bringing back the original Call of Duty vibe. Like, you can play with your friends and have a fantastic time, I, b- I believe. It's just, I don't think people give it credit where credit's due. Just yeah. because I feel like there's so many bad call- Like, granted, Call of Duty had the shittiest stretching video game history where they were still producing games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because what? I'd say Advanced Warfare, Trash. I mean, it was it brought in Uplink. Which saw, uh, competitively, I liked it. But, I mean, like, after Ghost slash 
Advanced Warfare kind of just like pulled the Call of Duty train back. I don't know. I feel like VO4 is going to be one of those games that brings it back, you know? Yeah, I, I can see like, that. I feel like Ghost was disrespected. It, it was. It was to a point. To a point, I'll give you that. <laughs> Talk about all those. Oh my god, well, you, you're going robot mode, my dude. <laughs> One second. Are you good, man? You're borrowing that uh, Wi Fi from Walmart? My stuff's just bugging out, so I don't know. Wait, both of you guys are bugging out now? What the heck? This is the Discord? Hello? Oh, yeah. Hi there. there it was Discord. It was not you. Yeah, okay, Discord's so, a- I mean, mid, mid-podcast. But, um, <laughs> no, I mean, like I said, if you guys want to get into all the Call of Duties, we can. I, I remember you saying we might want to do that another time when other people are here, but like I said... Yeah, I'm we'll, I would now. say do it at a different time. All right. Um, feelings on just the game overall, like the DLC that recently came out, if you have had a chance to play it. And, uh, I mean, I'm on the map right zombies. now. Um, map Madagascar. Uh, map. Uh, I play Madagascar and Elevation. Um, I play Madagascar. Play, they both play fairly um, well. Uh, like you, like I say, I play competitively, so I don't know how they're gonna work. But I mean, I'm not playing as big competitively anymore since I've been playing with you guys more. I think I think they're fun maps. I mean, yeah, they're like you gotta learn them, like all, like always. But once you learn them, they're gonna be fun as hell to play. But I mean, I don't know, did, Robinson. Did you ever get a chance to play uh, zombies? Uh, I did. I uh, I only got to play on the Coliseum map. How'd you think? I like that one. What'd you think about it? That was or- that was pretty neat. Um, I I'm not a fan of like the the. I mean, it's a cool map. It's a great design. The only uh thing i disliked about it was the underside of it was a little um too like i guess complicated like where it was a pain in the uh the rear to try to like um you know navigate through it all i agree i agree i mean it took a while for us to learn i mean i think i mean the guys did the easter egg without me but we tried the easter egg what brendan 15 20 times no, I, mean, I, I never I I get I to play on Coliseum I mean, yeah, or Titanic. You, yeah, I mean, you didn't do the Easter egg with us, but granted, the three of the times you were almost done with the Easter egg, somebody got the blue screen. So that was always fun. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Not, uh, oh. my, my zombie experience, I played the remake of Mob of the Dead. And oh, Blood of the I Dead. Was, Blood of the Dead. I was genuinely upset. <laughs> like, well, yeah, you I, were saying that the other day, actually. Yeah, because I just personally feel like it didn't need to be touched. Like, in all honesty, it was, like... Because, personally, that's my favorite map, map, like, ever. Like, I love the Hell's Redeemer. I love the... What is it, the Blundergat? Like, that was just overall my favorite map out of all the Call of Duty so far. Like, for other zombies, than, other than, really? Yeah, for zombies. Other than Kino. Kino's one of my, like, probably... Mm-hmm. Really? Team. You're putting... You're putting... Wow, Ascension right? was... D- or Durise, Durise, however you wish to say wh- it. Whatever, Durise that blows and, my mind. and okay. Ascension, it was like not, the, they weren't my favorites, but that's because it's personal. I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, those maps were terrible. Like, it, they just personally weren't, they, they weren't for me. I just like, I don't know. I mean, like, like I said, we'll, we'll get into all that stuff later on zombies and shit like that. But I mean, no, I mean, I thought the Coliseum map, the Easter eggs are so fun to do. I mean, granted, Brendan, me and Brendan both have the season pass, so we can play the five remake. Which Ooh. I like what they did with I like what they did with it that they added more stuff that they added the crazy customization options to it or like not customization options but they they added the crazy shit to it where it's like oh <laughs> like the offices that you used to see in the back of the room you can actually see now like you can go back there now you know what I mm-hmm. mean yeah yeah um yeah overall I mean okay. Uh, how about zero in uh, the got, DLC? Because I know I you, have you tried her. I I have, and I like I said, I'm playing right now, and it's not at all what I like. Like it's it's it stops my abilities, which is cool. It's like a big ass EMP, but like, I mean, you play hardcore, so it's a little different. But using your mini map and that shit is just. I mean, granted, I don't really need it for like a team deathmatch match or something, but it's like, I just think she's a little overpowered for what she should be doing. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, granted, it's a great add. it's a it's a great addition to the game because the 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 game needed the the, the, the meta switch up. 
Yeah, like they needed to get rid of like I always love the ruin. Like I've always loved the grab spikes from BO3. Just it's it's one of those things I just think needs to switch up. And I mean, well, who, they only added one operator, right? It was only zero. So yeah, it was only zero. They've probably got like because they said the way they're doing this one is they're adding stuff every month or two. Like they're not doing it like how they used to, where it's just a big update right away. You know. Mm, so yeah. I mean. I don't know just just i really don't want it to i don't know i don't think it's gonna misbalance the game at all in okay. any way just maybe i mean because think about it like there was emps in the game before this last half that time just all right so after holiday season what call call of duty went down to 40. it's 40 black right friday is it, it 40 I mean, yeah, it's for, it was 40 on Black Friday and it's 40 for the pre, at least a GameStop for the pre games or for the pre Christmas sale. Oh, okay. So it's, it's 40 until the 24th. So, oh. well, I mean, so other than like all that stuff, would you pick it up for $60 or would you say it's more worth to get the 40 for like somebody for Christmas or would you have just waited to pick it up for 40? I mean, you had that option. Because I personally waited and got the $40 version, and I'm cool with everything I got. I'm happy about it. Oh, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't like have I said, paid I have the, 60 I have for the, it. I have the $100 version since I have the season pass and stuff. But, um, I mean, yeah, if you if people don't want the DLC, you know what I mean? Like, if you're if you're the kind of person that just plays Call of Duty to play Call of Duty, like, you don't need the DLC, yeah, six, 40 bucks is perfectly great for it. Because, mm. like, like I said, it depends... There's those people that can't wait for a game. Like they need a day off that midnight, nine o'clock. I don't know if like if Robbie has any games that he's like that about. I mean, I know I'm always I've what since I'd say since since Black Ops one, I've been midnight release kind of guy. So mm -hmm. I don't know. How about you, Robinson? Would you have picked would you pick it up for sixty or would you pick it up for forty? What game? Uh Black Ops. Black Ops. Yeah. Uh I feel like I would only pick it up for 40. I wouldn't pick it up for 60. Only because I, I want a campaign. And that's what that's what threw me off from buying it. And I haven't bought it since or yet. Mm -hmm. Is that because it doesn't have the campaign that I'm so... Like, I always love the story mode of, like, when you find out, you know, Ghost gets killed and the, your general betrays you and Spoilers, stuff like that. Spoilers, man. What the hell? <laughs> that, that's old games. If you haven't seen those spoilers by now, I'm so I'm sorry joking. for you. <laughs> you're uneducated. <laughs> no, you're not wrong at that point. So, yeah. out of ten, after updates, after po like post what season technically, because that it, it is season two of uh, Call of Duty. How do you guys like rate it right now? Like on an out of ten scale? Um, I'll definitely give it like a eight, nine out of ten. It's uh, it's up there for me though. Like I'm. I don't know. Black Ops is just that franchise, dude, in the Call of Duties where it's just it revives the, modern, <laughs> the modern warfare's and the black and the uh, the modern warfare's and shit. Just the warfare's. Know. It's the warfare's. Well, no, the modern warfare's were fantastic. One, two, and three, and then it three went was, to three. Three wasn't three. for me. Uh, yeah, I mean, multiplayer. Like the, black, the Black Opses are just they're that game for they're me. Bad. I guess I don't know. Just they're they're just that good. Like four, it's just phenomenal. They maybe. haven't missed I'm, on it. I mean, me. I, I'm a little biased, but yeah, it's up there eight or nine. And I mean, like Robinson said, he'd probably agree with me if I had a campaign. Oh but, yeah, uh, because it doesn't have a campaign, and and the other aspect of it is that it's it's even though it is not as futuristic as like in infinity war and such where you know you have wall running and yeah as, uh, you have wall running and stuff like that um i still think it's not where like that it doesn't have that true boots on the ground feeling and i, I have to give it more like maybe I'll, I'll say maybe a seven i'll give it a seven I mean, I I completely I understand with that. I mean, I just feel like the games evolve too much to where it can sit boots on the ground now. Yeah, I, just think, I, I don't see know. That. World World War Two kind of was the proof for me on that. Granted, it was a sledgehammer game. Just I don't know. I just feel like the games evolve too much. Video games have evolved too much where they need to be a little bit faster paced to keep people playing them. Yeah. Uh, well, for me, I think I'm gonna give it a solid six and a half, just due to oh. the fact. Just due to like, I mean, the multiplayer is really good, and 
honestly, zombies have been, it's like a 50 50 shot. Like, either I'm going to like it or I'm going to hate it. As of right now, I've only played two maps or one map, and I don't really care yeah, for it. Yeah, one of the one of the now five. Yeah, Blackout is really fun to me. If you Only if you have a squad on. Like, I, I hate playing solo video games at this point, not unless it's like regular multiplayer Call of Duty. Um, the D, basically, if you don't have a season pass, you don't get all the content you really deserve. Like, I mean, that's what they were saying too. Like the, the big thing they were pushing when this game first came out was the blackout pass. Like you have to get it because they weren't going to sell it separately. And then a week before the game came out, it was, yeah, we're selling it separately now because yeah. they realized how bad they fucked up on it, you know? Yeah. And it was just really bad. Like, I don't know. It was just, just that even after the updates, it still sucks because I feel like it's still pay to win. Like. I feel like I mean, I don't if I really pay to win, it's just they have stuff that you need to pay to get. It's not know. even that. It's like I don't have enough time as like because, you know, I'm, you know, an adult now. I don't yeah, have the like time. For, I don't have the free wrong, time that yeah. I used to have to, you know, actually sit there, go play that game. Like what? Black Ops 2 I had 14, 15 yeah, days I, on of in-game time playing multiplayer alone. Like, yeah, I, th I think I spent like, I think I spent what? I don't, I couldn't even tell you. I think I spent, I, pr I went through Prestige Master like three times on, on Black Ops 2. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I yeah. played, like when I say Black Ops 2 was my game, I did not, I played league play from season one till the day it died. Like it was just the way I was. Yeah, and it's like, overall, I just feel like, I don't know. And plus what, there's still not a ranked mode yet in the game either, right? They also said that's gonna be one of their next big things they're adding though. Yeah, I know. I know it's gonna come, but it's like I feel like if you guys could put everything a decent amount of everything else at launch, you guys should be able to do that too. But I mean, yeah. I'm not th that's still not a huge deal to me. It's just overall like just really those aspects. And I hope it gets better from here. And I hope they don't mess it up again. Cause it's like Black yeah, Ops I mean 4 was not it's not a bad game. It's just like with the early release and the fact that basically if I don't have season pass or time, I basically don't get weapons that I mean, I'm happy it's available to everybody, but at the same time, it's like I paid $25 just to get what an early operator and a zombies map. Yeah, and the two DLC maps, right? And then the right. two DLC map. Yeah, and that's another thing. It used to be four multiplayer maps. Well, no, but it's like, the, like, it's like I said, they're doing their DLC differently now. They're doing it. Um, The way they're doing it now is uh, instead of the four at once, they're doing a couple every month instead of or, they're doing like one every they're doing like every two months instead of like every four like they used to yeah i mean so they're switching up the style of the way they're doing it like they're still doing those amount of maps you're still getting the so same total of 12 maps that you would have before yeah just in a different style of uh coming out of like the release so, i mean i don't know um it's 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 touch and go they're gonna they're gonna keep playing it by ear because they're gonna want to switch it up like, I just feel like, I feel like every game is going to try and compare itself to Fortnite. And that's just the way it goes. It's, yeah. you're going to try and make money like Fortnite did. But the thing is, Call of Duty sells itself. It has, it's proven that it sells itself. They had crap games for multiple years. It sells itself. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we're going to end the first episode right there. Um, Anything you guys want to say, Robinson? Uh. No, I'm I'm all good. Thank right. everyone for uh, uh for listening in. If you are, and uh, yeah, hope we'll, you enjoy what, your this holiday. It's gonna be a weekly thing, right? Yeah, I'm gonna try and make sure it is, man. So, I'm tired, dude. <laughs> I'm yeah. What? Well, what? We're releasing this tomorrow, right? So uh, we'll put. This uh, I'm gonna edit it, and we're gonna try. I'm gonna try and get it up sometime during the week, and we're, we'll uh, figure out a perfect day after I get everything situated with yeah. uh, our graphic designer and stuff. So I mean, that's fine with me. So yeah, I mean, like I said, we, we'll probably just record a couple episodes before we drop them out, and then yeah. we'll just have a couple set up. But yeah, besides yeah. that, we're good to go. So we're okay. gonna try here, be here weekly for you guys. Hopefully, trying to get these got these videos and stuff out. What I don't, I'm gonna try and every go every Friday. Things start to get slow in the gaming community, which hopefully it will never. I mean, uh, it's not. But like we said, there's we're at that we're at that holiday season where we're probably gonna pick up games that we never would have picked up anyways. So oh yeah, yeah definitely. so. 
we're gonna keep playing some stuff for you guys giving you some opinions uh eventually we're gonna talk about some anime when we get some more nerds in here because you know these guys don't know what good anime is obviously you have no idea what you're talking dude, about dude i've already no. finished naruto <laughs> dude, shut up dude i watch way more than death note i'm way deeper in the uh, anime than both of you the live the live action version <laughs> oh, i didn't even watch it i already knew it was gonna be trash it was but, so right, bad anything any last words uh augie uh no just thanks for listening guys we appreciate it all right and yeah we'll have this up uh and we'll see you next week yep keep geeking out <laughs> geek out which you got what you <laughs> <cock> out <laughs> all right see you guys yeah. next week yep.